game. This game ends up going the distance here simply because. Welcome to Coda, ladies and gentlemen. We're spawning in the bottom right-hand position, the winner of game number one, and looking to dethrone our current hot seat champion. It's our Protoss in the blue colors playing from Germany and representing a Planet Key Dynamics. It's Kung Fu Banda. His opponent spawning is the Red Terran. In the 10 o'clock position, representing Team Liquid.net. This player has won the hot seat in grand total of six times, is regarded by many to be the best non Korean player in the world. Can he go on to extend his record and take his tally of wins on the hot seat to an absolutely amazing seven? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Liquid Bunny. All right, well, good news, guys. No proxies this game, as far as Bunny is concerned. But he's not going gas first this time. Oh, no, we're going to be seeing the barracks go down way before. I think Bunny is going to be reverting to what he has tried and tested. And he's going back with what he is most familiar with. Don't blame him one bit. Now... I'm not 100% certain how this is going to play out. I mean, Kung Fu Panda, I've seen a lot of his games, but I haven't seen him play against Bunny before. Like, I haven't spectated one of those games specifically. Bunny is going to be going back to his bread and butter. You can see him uh, lining up for that Reaper here. So it's going to be a standard Reaper expand. He's actually got an SCV scouting as well. Uh, just to double check that there isn't any sort of weird stuff going on in the early game there. Kung Fu Panda, of course, uh, just a couple more pounds, and the placement of these pounds as well, and knowing that they're both in the main base when the SCV comes in to scout, will also let Bunny know that he's not necessarily scouting out in the middle of the map for any sort of dodgy stuff. Sees the pylon, sees the cybernetics core. Checks the level of chrono boost. Sees both gases. I believe he even counted two workers in each as well, if he was paying attention. I'm absolutely certain he was. And then he went, okay, I think I vaguely know what this is now. I think you're actually going to try and expand. Are you going to be able to? Now, Gofu Banner at the moment is still uh, on 200 minerals. So it's a little while before he actually has to expand, which is great. Bunny's just trying to be as annoying as possible with this SCV in the meantime. And at least he's successfully doing that. But he can only take one more hit and he's going to have to move out of there. And as soon as 400 minerals pops by, actually, Gofu Banner is able to put down his natural expansion. So that was really cool. In the meantime, the Reaper trying to get a bit of damage on inside the main base. You can see a probe there uh, losing all of its uh, health. Uh, sorry, all of its shields rather, but just a bit of its health. One is going to get killed on total right now. And this Reaper is going to also, more importantly, going to be able to come back in a little later on and get all this scouting information uh, behind what kind of tech Kung Fu Banda might be going for. Factory now coming down. Double Marines. Note, it's just off the one Reaper, by the way, as he moves back into the main base there. Ooh, looking like he might think about killing off that one probe. Decides against it in the end. The Twilight Council gets put down this time. So this Reaper now is going to have to get zoned out if Kung Fu Banda doesn't want Bunny to know that the Twilight is in fact coming. We have a Stalker here just going to try and move it away from the natural. And the Mothership Corps will attempt to deny the scouting inside the main base. Successfully does so as well. Uh, instead of moving in and maybe suiciding a little bit for the scout, we actually have a situation where Bunny elects to stay away and keep the unit alive. That means that this Twilight Council is going to be able to go down in peace. So what's happening on the other side of the world? What is going on in Bunnyland? Well, not an awful lot, to be honest. We have uh, Widow Mines and we have Marines just being cranked out at the moment. And we're waiting for those units on the starport to come in, no doubt. We'll see a couple of medevacs and potentially some drops coming in very, very soon as well. So um, let's see if that ends up happening. Tech Labs actually on both the factory and starport. Okay, we saw Bunny do this last week, guys. And, uh, of course, it was yet another TVP. And uh, he was playing against Welmu. 
uh, for those of you who weren't watching. And for those of you who want to check out the VODs, by the way, uh, the VODs will be available on YouTube one day after this broadcast. So they'll be available on YouTube tomorrow, like a week and a day afterwards. And you can also go on my Ding It channel and check out the reruns page where you get to see all of that as well. Last week's series was incredible. I straight up just recommend you go watch it. It's really, really good. Uh, unbelievable series between Bunny and Welmu. Anyway, in the meantime, the robotic facility is about to complete, and we are just rushing out Blink with that Chrono Boost as quickly as you possibly can while adding on a few gateways. Uh, Bunny's plans in the meantime just involve making a full use of these add-ons. Like I said, he used these last week. He went into a very, very heavy marine tank play as well. Although, I don't think the Raven came immediately first out of the starport, interestingly. I'm pretty sure we saw a couple of Banshees mixed in as well for that extra DPS from Bunny. And he absolutely crushed, I believe, in the first game where this kind of strategy was revealed as well. So, uh, really, really strong game. And we'll see if Gung Fu Banda, uh, to be honest, finds it at this point. Because right now, he hasn't seen a single red building uh, over the course of the entire game. It's all been very defensive-minded, very chilled out right now. And a couple of observers are probably going to try and put end to that. There is the next observer as well, moving out across the map. Still only the two, and not making a third one, by the way. And uh, this observer should be able to tell Kung Fu Banda more or less everything he needs to know. Extra barracks coming on down now. The starport has served its purpose with the Raven. He's now going to be moving in to get those reactors up. Oh, and the Raven, unfortunately, alongside the Viking, is going to mean that the first observer is going down. So Bunny really favoring this kind of style against Protosses at the moment, where he just denies them the vision with those observers. But... I think Kung Fu Banda is... Oh, wow, he hasn't actually seen these. I thought he saw all these buildings, but maybe he didn't. In which case, he has seen absolutely nothing other than the fact that, yes, there is a bunker in front here. Kung Fu Banda is going to want to do a fair bit of reconnaissance. He's going to want to do that soon, to be honest. This is actually really, really tricky, but he's going to maybe do that by being aggressive at the same time so he's not losing a couple of individual units here and there. Uh, we see a lot of forward pylons getting placed down across the map right now. So what else is going on? We have Colossus Tech already complete. Uh, just going to be chrono boosting those out. There's the first Colossus, ladies and gentlemen. And a Gung Fu Banda just continuing to build to, I guess, what can be considered a uh, Protoss maxed out army. Wanting to get as much DPS as possible. Now, I don't think he quite has the luxury of time at this point to then go ahead and tech up and get Storm as well. After all, he is trying to take and hold on to a third base. But, Bunny at the moment, I mean, he's adding on production facilities. And he's just building his army up on two bases right now. So, his army size is going to be considerably greater. But economically, Bunny is going to be slightly weaker. Uh, at least in the medium term, because he won't have a third base to potentially mine from. And Gungu Band has already transferred workers over to his third. I think the income should be equal, if not slightly higher for Bunny right now. And, okay, it's almost equal. It, it, you could argue that's slightly higher, but a very, very nip and tuck. And, of course, that's because of mules, but Gung Fu Banda, I mean, uh, towards the middle stage of this game, is just going to have that little bit more longevity because his first two bases are just not being mined out quite as quickly as Bunny, who's dropping all of his mules in those locations. And we have a potential fight here. And, oh, needs to be careful. Bunny correctly... Im uh, immediately sieging up just in case the threat from Kung Fu Banner was too large. Excellent scan! Spots the entire army there. And Bunny looks at that and he goes, yeah, I can definitely go ahead and attack into this. Bunny at the moment being delayed with his sieges, forcing the tanks to siege up, means that Kung Fu Banner is going to have to fight for every inch of space. Um, but it also just slows Bunny down, so I don't think Kung Fu Banner minds really quite a lot here. We need to be very careful, though, because that Viking is going to be so, so annoying. Actually, very close to killing off a Colossus as well. But he continuing to take a very solid position as he inches further forward. How is Gung Fu Banda actually going to stop the attacks coming in from a two-prong location? Because Gung Fu Banda, don't forget, our Protoss can defend here, guys, but then the Terran can just attack up there. This is actually a little bit awkward 
if your opponent owns this high ground here, and uh, Bunny definitely does with these siege tanks. So we have the uh, Phoenix flyover, but it's not going to be able to spot too much before it gets shot down. And is Bunny going to go for the natural expansion or the third base location? I mean, that for me is the question right now. And oh my god, a single Colossus against so many Vikings just isn't a good day indeed. But we have a massive battle going in as far as a flank is going. Kung Fu Banda doing a lot of DPS damage with the Colossi. But will he be able to actually take down the Ravens fast enough? Right now it doesn't look like it. The Ravens clean up every single Colossi. And there's a good amount of bio still here. GG! Ladies and gentlemen. And Kung Fu Banda wins game number... Uh, Kung Fu Banda even. Liquid Bunny wins game number two to tie the series up. One and one.